Okay, time for a new video, and whether you are somebody new to my channel or you are returning to my channel to watch this video, it is greatly appreciated. As always, I'm filming this video in one go, so if I stumble over my words moving forwards, apologies about that, and also apologies if the quality of this video is fairly poor as well, if there's any lag, anything like that at all, sadly it can't be helped, and hopefully it's not too much of an issue for you. This is yet another Eurovision 2024 related video here on my channel, and as I talk to you now, it is the 2nd of May, and earlier today, half of the semi-final two participants for this year's upcoming edition of the ESC in Malmö, Sweden, had their second rehearsals on stage. And these rehearsals have been put together into a video, uploaded a short time ago by the Eurovision Song Contest YouTube channel. And I'm about to watch that video for the very first time and give you my brief thoughts on what I'm seeing and hearing. As always, you're welcome to let me know your thoughts on anything I discuss in today's video by leaving a comment down below. And as always, there are links in the description to my other social media pages. Check them out if you so wish. It's been a fairly busy day of rehearsals in Malmö, as a matter of fact, because for the first time, the automatic finalists have rehearsed as well. And as I talk to you now, I'm just waiting for all of the TikTok clips to be uploaded. And then I will be filming a video very similar to the one you're watching now, where I briefly go through those little teasers and tell you my thoughts on what I'm seeing and hearing there. I've seen some photographs already, and I have to say I think the automatic qualifiers are bringing the goods. Anyway, semi-final two, which as I've said previously, it seems to be the stronger show, better quality songs you could argue, uh, more expressive entries, more competitive efforts as well. I'm very much looking forward to this video. I've got it loaded up right now. Like I said, it's on the Eurovision Song Contest YouTube channel. What I'm watching won't be in the bottom corner of the video you're watching, but that's the way it usually is, and chances are you've seen this by now anyway. I've really not been using social media much at all lately. I've said this previously too, so I don't really know which rehearsals are getting the most buzz at the moment. Some broadcasters did post rehearsal clips on Twitter earlier on today, before this video was released, which is interesting. Uh, but I steered well clear of them. This is absolutely a first-time reaction. This goes up to Latvia, I believe, so I'm excited to see Switzerland most of all. But I'm just hoping that this crop is stronger than what we had from semi-final one, because I have now watched the semi-final one second rehearsal clips a few times, and I can't say that I was really impressed by much of what I saw. And I don't know whether that's because of the stage, and a lot of people aren't using all of the space available to them. Maybe the stage is the wrong shape. I don't know. I, I just thought that some of the rehearsal clips yesterday weren't really as good as they could have been. But still not bad. Anyway, let's get straight into this. I've left my curtains open today, so... The light is a little bit blinding, I know. But let's go into this. It's 5 minutes 23 seconds long. Let me crack this drink open while I'm at it. Here we go then. Less than a week to go, of course, until Eurovision 2024 is finally upon us. Here we go. Ryland's there. He'll be doing the semi-final commentary for the BBC next week. Oh, let me turn this up a bit. Oh, that's another thing. I should say, on the joint Instagram page, which finally has a new logo, just for the record, um, there will be a post tomorrow regarding my top five semi-final two second rehearsals. And all being well, there'll be a post later on this evening, which will be a top three of the automatic finalist first rehearsals. So if you're at all interested... Head over there and check that post out when it surfaces a bit later on, all being well. Back to the video. Malta first, here we go. My immediate impression, very reliant on backing vocals. Showing off the choreography. Well, how many performances over the past few years have we had where it's a female performer and there's a bit of a dance break? Like I said previously, it is becoming a little bit predictable and cliched now. But I suppose with this type of song, what else can you do to make it truly stand out? 
Red lighting. She's blindfolded. Oh. Oh. Take your clothes off. Okay. That's a very interesting clip that we have there. The dance break adds absolutely nothing. Not really. It does help the song stand out a bit. But also, it doesn't really add much. If you see what I mean. Uh, I like Sarah. I think she's an alright singer. But like I said, it seemed as though the backing vocals were quite prominent there. Green lighting and then red lighting. She looks great. Yeah, I mean... Oh, the camera. We saw that just edging off stage there. And then she's turned over. Yeah, I'm not sure that was the best clip to use. I think this was a problem yesterday, actually. I would have rather seen other parts of the songs rather than the parts that were presented to us. Nevertheless, this is fine. Malta are giving themselves a fighting chance. Okay. Albania. Okay, she's gone for a very sparkly silver outfit. A couple of dancers also in silver. Don't like the backdrop at all. Not a bad singer. This ain't qualifying. I'd be very surprised. This doesn't really give me the feeling of going through. 30 second clips. Well, that wasn't 30 seconds, was it? But anyway, that's Albania. Yeah. Can't say I'm a big fan. Next up is Greece. Well, I don't even need to see the comments because this is the one that everybody will be banging on about. I did read that there were some audio problems with this rehearsal today, which is fair enough. It does seem as though, again, the backing vocals are a little prominent here, but, you know. Okay, so they are using the space fairly well, and it's quite a vibrant performance, and I like her very much. But, I feel as though the camera should be moving all the time. It shouldn't be stopping and starting. I feel like this is a fluid song, so the camera should be moving, panning around them for the entire song. And the dancers, and Marina herself, just turn as the camera turns. And also... Yeah, I, don't, I still don't know whether I like the whole one camera thing. But that's not bad. I mean, I'm not gushing over it. Heavens above. But that's not bad. It's going through. Next up is Switzerland. Oh boy, here we go. An impressive light show. Great vocalist. Not too sure about those quick camera changes. Oh! Oh, I say. Swing it about. That was a bit more like it. Uh, if I was a jury member, a professional musician, I'd be looking at that and thinking, well, that is very impressive indeed. This prop here which is a sort of dish of sorts, sort of moving around it. Gold lighting. There could be a bit more going on behind Nemo, it must be said. That's right at the end of the song. The worst thing about it, the outfit. By an absolute mile, the worst thing about it. Now, I don't mind the outfit at all. But I think it's the worst thing about this rehearsal clip. 
And the problem, if indeed you can call it a problem, is that a lot of the media, and this is their problem, not mine, but a lot of the media will focus on Nemo's outfit more than anything else to do with his song and performance. And that's not the way it should be, of course. Uh, but that was a very, very strong clip. Like I said, if I was a professional musician, I'd be looking at this and thinking, wow. It feels very grand, and it doesn't feel over the top. With this type of song, uh, Nemo and their, their whole team could have gone really, really big for this. Very expressive, very in your face. There could have been multiple different elements happening on stage, and maybe we will get that. But this seems as though it's reined in just a touch. It's not really chaotic in my opinion. It's not really messy in my opinion. The juries will absolutely love it. The, pub it, the public slightly less so. Still a contender. Absolutely. Very good. Check here. Okay. Oh, lift her up in the air as well. This looks very good and doesn't sound too bad. Lots of flashing lights, bit of a red colour scheme going on, black outfits. This isn't too bad at all, actually. Fair enough. Not too bad. Austria. Blue lighting, lasers, couple of dancers, silver outfit. Ponytail. This just looks... I've been using this word a lot lately. I think it's very applicable here. It feels very cold. It doesn't look very inviting. You see, I, I would have more rapid camera cuts here during the chorus. You know, to match the up-tempo nature of this song. Doesn't look bad, doesn't sound bad. Still might be the fan flop of the year. Denmark. Oh, get a load of this. The lights around the stage make this feel quite boxed in. Oh yeah, go on. Okay, yeah, she's owning this. Oh! Smoke's a bit much though. When is it not at Eurovision? That looks promising. I think Denmark have given themselves a fighting chance too. Great singer. Sort of warm orange lighting here. Oh yeah. Lovely. Lovely. Armenia. Cameraman is right in the damn way. Yeah, get out of the way, man. Lovely. Look how dark it is, though. Yes, we've got lights, but that entire LED screen, blank. Fair enough. Not what I would have done myself. Yeah, you know, looking and sounding perfectly fine, I guess. It's going to go through. Latvia's next. With his ring. Some sort of tree on the backdrop. Very simple, all about the vocals. 
Don't mind the outfit. Well, that was pretty good. Maybe not the strongest visually, but certainly one of the strongest vocally. If everything else around Dons was really coming together very nicely, I'd be sitting here now saying Latvia are really in with a very strong chance of going through. As it is, I still think this is probably missing out. But there we go. Big ramble. That is my thoughts on half of the semi-final two second rehearsals. So, to recap, Malta, okay. Uh, then we have Albania. I'd be really very surprised if they qualify. That did not impress me. Greece, okay. Switzerland, very good. Uh, Czechia, that was pretty decent. Austria, fine. Denmark, strong. Armenia, promising. That was a real teaser. And then Latvia, not too bad at all, particularly in the vocal department. I think that's it. Yes, that's all I'm getting from the second rehearsals. So, let me know your thoughts. Not too bad. Looking stronger than semi-final one, I would say. And I'll be back with another video later on, talking about the automatic finalists' first rehearsals. And then, no doubt, there'll be a video tomorrow talking about the rest of of the semi-final two second rehearsals. Until then, hopefully the lag wasn't too bad. Take care of yourselves, stay safe, and bye for now.